Good morning, everyone. Friday, the 5th of February. I am struck in the readings, um, or more especially in what we remember today in the life of the Anglican Church, and that, those are the martyrs of Japan. And some of the backstory is that in about the middle of the 1500s, the 16th century, Francis Xavier was a missionary priest and had pretty good uh, success in dealing with the people of Japan. And then the emperor turned against those that were there uh, bringing the Christian message. And for about 300 years, the church was driven underground and large numbers were, were killed, very often crucified for their faith. And in the middle of the 1800s, approximately that vicinity, the church um, began to come out into the open and began to flourish a lot more than it did in those approximately 300 years of persecution. And it struck me that in the Christian faith, we talk about this deep relationship that we need with the Lord, and absolutely true that, and this incredible open vista horizon that I have been speaking about, and this is the promise that is available to each and every one of us, but often there is a persecution that comes our way. We spoke just yesterday of Manchi Masamola, the young teenage girl who was martyred for her faith. And today we remember again those martyrs of Japan. And of course, I'm not saying that just by having a relationship with the Lord, you are going to be martyred. But what I am saying is that the world is so contrary to the Christian message that Having a firm faith and having a good relationship with the Lord does create some form of tension in our relationship with the world, not in our relationship with the Lord Jesus, obviously. So we need to be aware of this and we need to persevere because there is still nothing better than having our relationship with God. So folks, have a good weekend, maintain that relationship with the Lord and put up with the odd nonsense that might come your way, that little bit of persecution where people laugh at you because you stand for the truth, you stand for justice, you stand for righteousness, rather than simply following and doing what the rest of the world does. Have a wonderful weekend and be strong in the Lord. God bless.